It's the next day after that last video that I was shooting at Cumberland Falls. Um, and what happened there is my battery died. And so I'm going to make this kind of a two-parter from what I it started with that video. And I'm out here at Flatlick Falls in Jackson County near Greyhawk, Kentucky. And you can just see the beauty of the area and the rhododendrons that surround this area. Just a very pleasant little park. It's got a, uh, a paved path here and there's places to it looks like camp back in there uh, some camping pads and anyway I'm gonna piggyback on that um, kind of the what I was kind of what I was w working with uh, on the last video in regard to iciness and relationships um, and it you may not even want to call it the the ice of relationships the chilliness but it's, it's a good metaphor it's a good picture of what happens sometimes in disagreements unmet expectations uh, the the iciness between people um, particularly in marriages um, <clears throat> I'm going to use a passage today from Colossians chapter 3 that is is for believers to to take to the bank to to apply to their lives and uh, I'm gonna I'm going to commend it for you to read all of it in its entirety, but I'm going to start off by the first few verses, and it says, If then you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above, where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Set your mind on things that are above, not on things that are on the earth. For you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ and God. When Christ, who is your life, appears, then you will appear with him in glory. <clears throat> I don't want to shoot out a bunch of moralisms or, or throw out a bunch of moralisms and how to how to work against and how to break through the iciness in relationships, particularly in marriage. Um, I want to go to the source. Um, I want to remind you that in Christ, you are you, you're in Christ. You're seated with him. Uh, what he accomplished on the cross, he has made available for you. <clears throat> and so when he goes on and he talks about put to death the things, those, those things, those sins in your life are, are that old person who you were before Christ. Put those to death. Just lay those aside. Um, put those off and then clothe yourself um, with what Christ has already shown you in his sacrifice and what he has done for us in his kindness and his compassion and his forgiveness. And he expands that a little bit. Paul says in verse 12, Put on then as God, God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, compassionate hearts, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience, bearing with one another, and if one has a complaint against another, forgiving each other as the Lord has forgiven you, so you must also forgive. And above all these, put on love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. And let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to which indeed you were called in one body, and be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, teaching and admonishing one another in all wisdom, singing psalms and spiritual songs and hymns with thankfulness in your hearts to God. And whatever you do, in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, giving thanks to God the Father through him. <clears throat> the things that we are called to do, <laughs> my arm is getting a little tired. Let's do a little switcheroo here. Um, the things we are called to do are connected to the gospel, what Christ has done for us. I, I cannot belabor that point enough. I cannot emphasize that point enough. You got nothing. If there's iciness, if there's coldness, if there's division, if there's separation, if there's divorce, if there is anything in your life that's keeping you from somebody else, it's the same thing that keeps you from God. Those things, 
have kept you from God because of sin and they have been reconciled and dealt with at the cross therefore compassion and love and all these things they're at your disposal and that's why I think Paul says this over and over again in his letters he says take off take off that stuff that you used to be defined by you are no longer that you're in Christ put on what you are already what you have at your disposal line yourself up with what God has given you it's it's there for the taking now I'm not saying that it isn't hard sometimes to make those kinds of decisions we have a battle in us we're always at battle because we live in this world of sin and we still have the residual effects of sin not in 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 our own lives now I don't understand the completeness of what all that means but I think those things are kind of left in place and this could be another <laughs> vlog down the road I think those things are left in place <clears throat> particularly the difficulties that we have to go through and how we have to put on put off the old man to put on I think it's it's a continual reminder that we need to be trusting in God and placing our faith in Him each and every day. Yeah, we made that decision when we accepted Christ, but each and every day is a sanctification process where God is working that in us. It's just, just amazing uh, in that um, uh, it's, it's a continual reminder that we got nothing. God's got everything. And so go to the source. <laughs> What's going to break away this ice is continuing warm weather here in central Kentucky. It's in the 40s now. It's, they say it's going to be in the 60s for the next couple days. And isn't it, it, it just a marvel that, uh, that we have places like this? Just beautiful. All right. We're in January 2018. There's my part two. It's a lot longer than part one, and I hope it goes well with part one. And I hope you take these things to heart, my dear children and my grandchildren. I love y'all. Bye.